Okay, hello, and then I am planning to show you that how I can test that are this my spark plugs okay or bad. And here are this my engines all spark plugs. And let's go to test that what they look like. And I take this first spark plug in here and I look that area and I need to look when I take my tool that area in here and it is important to test that this area in here it looks like that and this distance is about one millimeter this thickness in here or this gap this small slot in here and this spark plug this looks good I can say that, that there is no any issues when we look that closer I can say that no any issues it this looks good no any this cap is nice and also even that it is a little bit black I think that this spark plug is workable no any no any any things and I take a little bit more light we can see mo more accurate but this spark plug is okay I, I think it is my option. Okay, good. And then I take my next spark plug. And this is like okay. And then I install my next spark plug in here. And in that spark plug, I can notice that this is right away bad. And what is wrong in that spark plug? When we compare, this is like this benchmark. Like okay, and I will insert by the way there a little bit this color. I have in there excellent this uh, solid marker yellow pencil, and this comes from Japan. And we can purchase this in ebay.com from internet. Solid marker, and this marks everything this yellow. And now I insert that my benchmark this benchmark spark plug I add in here this yellow color that now we remember that this is like okay that that spark plug good and then we look this closer and then when we look that both spark plugs we can right away see that what is wrong in that spark plug in here what is wrong there is wrong that now this cap is too big. Look, when we compare in that one, this cap is huge. It is like one, two, three millimeters, and it is too big. And when we compare that benchmark spark plug, it is only one millimeter. And this is now issue. That cap is too big. Cap is too big. In this my my spark plug and that means now that now I need to now I need to react this spark plug this is too bad to trash this is bad and this is this issue some someone has been made that kind of huge gap this is this looks like bad too big gap in here Okay, and then we continue. Okay, and then I look next of my spark plug, and it it looks like in here. And then when I compare, this is like benchmark, and like okay spark plug, and also in that spark plug when I look, there is too big this gap. When we think, when we look, look. This is this gap. It is like two millimeters, and my tool goes directly in inner in there, and this is bad. This is also react. Okay, and this was this benchmark, and in that area I can't insert this my tool in there, and that means that now I react also this part. It is too big. Okay, and then we continue. 
Okay, and then I have next spark plug in here. It is the last one. And then when we check that what is this status, this is like this yellow is like benchmark and okay spark plug. And then we have this next one. And then when we look that spark plug, we can see that it looks quite okay, but then there is something strange. When we look that gap area in here, this gap area it looks like it is like bad. And what is there wrong? This is like okay, and this is now not okay. And there is really issue that this gap is like no cap, that there is direct contact between that part and then this inner part. And, and when we compare in that my benchmark, benchmark this spark plug, in there we can see that there is this gap. When I take my tool, there is this gap in here. I can almost insert that in this hole. It is but then when we look at another, what is la like our sample, there is no any cap. I can insert it, because this part takes contact to this central electrode. Okay, and that means now that this, this spark plug is also reacted. This is like this miss. This is bad. And I throw that in trash. Okay, but this spark plug is okay, and now I need to only purchase new spark plug, and then I can go to test that what happens next. Okay, and then when I have tested that my I need to replace new spark plugs to this my engine, that I can start this my engine, and next I am I have installed new spark plugs in my engine and then we can go to start my car again and test that what happens next. Okay and now when I have installed in their new spark plugs then I can go to to cabin area to start this engine and maybe now this my engine starts to run and let's go to do that test next. Okay, and now I am going to test that how this my car starts when I have new spark plugs. And let's go to test. And now, no any starting. Engine, no any engine runs. Only starter runs and rotates this engine. Okay, and what to do then if I have now replaced also new spark plugs? Okay, what I can do next?